all the members of this group. They have angered. Vampires, Bloodsuckies, Nosferatu. So for this week's Wild Eye Wednesday, as you saw from the trailer, Demon Squad, which came out in 2019, an hour and 37 minutes. It got a 4.9 out of 10, which I disagree. I give it a 7 out of 10. It was directed by Thomas Smith, and he also co-wrote it with Aaron Lilly. Sorry if I pronounce any of these names wrong. We got, um, let me go through it here, Christian Fulmer as Nick Moon, Erin Liley as Daisy O'Reilly. Oh, okay, so she wrote it and starred in it. Uh, she plays Nick Moon's secretary with psychic abilities. Leah Christine Johnson as Lila Fontaine, who hires Nick. Martin Ross as Skeeter. Monica Ganu as Gil. Probably butchering some of these names, I'm sorry. Eric Smits as The Stranger. Kelly Hoke as Blondie, Amir Zondi as Detective Burt, Alton Landry as Moses, Nathan O'Neill as the Monster Doctor, Michael Santina as Frankendemon, Isabella Alberta as a Club Creature, Bennett Wayne Dean Sr. as Edwin, Taylin Lyle was a Dancer Demon, Charles Rags was Large Demon, Joshua Driscoll was a stitcher, which you saw from the trailer with the green eyes and their lips are like sewn up. So all the following were stitchers. Carla Keen, Sharon Posey, Curtis Lilly, John Dyes, Beverly Aldridge, Valerie Logan, Joel Moore, Eddie Rogers, Carrie Powell was the bartender, Tim Reed was Dale, Robert Rose, police officer. Rick Winston, is Frank. Allie Wolf, party girl. Kelly Barnes, unicorn. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I wonder if uh could have a crossover with Duke the Unicorn from Carousel. A couple of unicorns. Bob Constance as Spike Face Demon. Tyler Crockett as a punk demon. Jennifer Dawson as barmaid. Clint Edwards as bar wolf. Jasmine Johnson as a bar demon, Cody Lee as Dobble Demon, John McCook as another bar demon, Caleb Motes as the Red Face Demon, and Scott Allen Warner as Dr. Paul. Let's go ahead, I'll show you some images. So here we go, 36 images. I'll just go ahead and scroll up. Th those glasses are like the equipment that he has that can detect fingerprints and residue left from monsters. Miss Fontaine right there. And then some behind the scenes. All right, so that is it. 
Hey, what's up everybody? Steven here, aka Wild Eye Guy 85. And as you just saw from the trailer and the little clip beside me that I watched Demon Squad for this week, I'll go ahead and read the back of it to you. Demons, monsters, and magic are all around us. And it says, so much fun. A good starter horror film for someone in their youth. Paranormal investigator Nick Moon finds himself thrust into a hidden world of monsters and creatures of the night as he takes on a case to retrieve an ancient artifact with astonishing power and must save the world from the evil plans of those from the other world. A special feature includes trailers, funny, has likable characters, and a solid plot, a solid B+. Uh, the release of this for the DVD is 2019, uh, runtime 93 minutes. So what to say about this? I definitely enjoyed it. I'd have to give it a 7 out of 10. Definitely rewatchable. Uh, definitely check it out. I believe it's on Tubi. Uh, I'll leave the link to Wild Eye releasing uh, in the description box. Basically, it reminds me of a combination of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel, and Constantine. Uh, he has his private investigator, kind of like how Angel did. Uh, a little spoiler, but not too much of a spoiler unless you're a big Buffy fan. Uh, it sort of reminds me of season four and six. Uh, six because there's like a demon bar in it. Um, and I'll let you figure out if you know the plot of uh, season four. So he's hired to find this artifact because uh, this woman's father was uh, kidnapped. And so he gets hired by her. And, of course, you know, he kind of falls for her along the way. And he just, you know, tracks down clues and uh, goes to these demon bars and interrogates vampires and monsters. Uh, he kind of has, like, uh, powers a little bit like Constantine. And there's, like, some portals. He can uh, activate, like, not activate. He can uh, produce fire, like a blue ball of fire. Um, he knows, like, spells. He has like supernatural equipment where he can see uh, fingerprints and residue of creatures left behind. Uh, some good gore in it. Uh, he has a sidekick. Uh, well, I mean, I guess she works more as an office. She's like a secretary uh, that wants to go out in the field. And he finally lets her uh, come out with him. And she almost reminds me of Cordelia a little bit. Uh, she, instead of visions, like when she touches something or touches someone, her eyes go white and she gets like vibes. Uh, so that's pretty much what it's about. I don't want to go too much into the detail, anything else. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, the costumes were pretty good for what it was. A couple of the props were kind of cheap looking, you can tell. Uh, but there were some good effects. Uh, the vampires, their face kind of reminded me of when vampires on Buffy uh, vamped out, what they looked like. So I can tell they, like, sort of based it off that a little bit. Uh, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. Definitely watch it again. Uh, lots of action through it. And if you like monsters, magic, and demons, definitely the movie for you. Uh, if you've seen it, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time.